So you think your method is better than mine? Or is my method better than yours? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the Highline Guitars guitar building YouTube channel. And in this video, as I have done previously in a couple of videos, I am going to ask you, the viewers, a question about guitar building rather than you, the viewers, coming to me to answer your questions about guitar building. And what I'm hoping is that those of you who are experienced at building guitars will offer an answer to the question I'm about to pose, or at least some thoughts on the subject, and post those down in the comments below. That way, everyone who watches this video can scroll through those comments and get an idea of how folks handle what I'm about to ask. And that question is, how do you determine the space between each of your strings? Now, in a previous video, I had asked the question, how do you determine the distance between the edge of your outer strings and the edge of the fretboards? But in this video, I want to take it a step further and ask you how you determine that spacing between each uh, string. And some folks, I would imagine, will take the string spread that from the outer strings, the total distance between the outer strings, and will divide that distance by the number of strings to determine what the measurement between each string should be. However, obviously, that doesn't take into account the diameter of the strings. Uh, that brings up another approach, which is to use one of these uh, string spacing rulers. I got this years ago from Stumac, and it actually works pretty well. I can place it up against the nut, and I can measure and mark the position of where each slot needs to be so that when I string up the guitar, even with different gauge strings, each string will appear to be centered and spaced visually correctly. However, it is not foolproof. Uh, it kind of works on the generic assumption that your bass strings are going to be thicker than your treble strings, but it doesn't take into account the specific dimensions of those strings. There is another approach that does, however, and that is there are several online string spacing calculators which you can use to determine the spacing. And one that I've used and find to be quite accurate and effective is one that is provided by the Manchester Guitar Tech website. And I'll post a link to that calculator down in the description below so you can check it out and see how that works. But basically what you do is you input your string spread between your uh, outer low string and your outer high string, and then you input the diameters of each string that you're going to be uh, placing on that guitar, and it will calculate precisely where the centers of those strings should be, and it takes into account the diameter of the string. That way, after you have slotted the net and strung up the guitar, the strings will appear visually correct in their spacing. Now, whenever I use one of the online calculators like the Manchester Guitar Tech calculator, once I've got those uh, dimensions calculated, I will create a drawing in my CAD program. And this is basically the top view of the nut, this being the bass side, this being the treble side, with each one of the positions for the string slots indicated with a line here. And then what I'll do is I will trim it to look something like this, which I can then place right here on the, on the, up against the nut, and then I can mark the position of where the strings need to be. Now, as you can see, with this particular nut, I have the strings, I have my, um, my E, B, and G strings uh, correctly positioned, as well as the low E. But you'll notice that the A and the D strings are slightly off from the, the mark that I created in the CAD program. And you can actually see it, I, I don't know if you can see it on video, but I can see it looking down at it, that the spacing between these strings is off. 
So I have to make a new nut in order to get that string spacing correct. And I was aware of that after I made the nut and I decided to keep it so that I could show you in this video how these string spacing templates work. So uh, the Manchester Guitar Tech calculator seems to be pretty accurate. Regardless of whether your technique for calculating the distance between the strings is the same as mine or completely different, I would appreciate it if you would share your approach in the comment section down below. That way, everyone who watches this video can scroll through the comments and see all the different techniques that folks use. And who knows, maybe experienced luthiers such as myself will come across a technique they never considered before that might be even better than what they're currently using. That's the beauty of sharing these experiences online on social media with a channel like the one I have. It gives us all a chance to learn. So I hope that you found this video to be useful. If so, I hope it's earned your thumbs up. At any rate, until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.